Hi, this is Lauren from LSP Actions and welcome to the video tutorial for the LSP Overlay Kit for Photoshop. I've designed this kit, um, this action pack, to make editing a breeze when it comes to adding textures, overlays, florals, um, skies, glitter, shadows, and also adding uh, your subject to a digital background. This action pack is kind of a mini uh, sample of everything that's included with LSP. I've included some bonus overlays for you in the pack so you can get started right away even if you don't own any overlays yet. So you can also edit along with this video if you want to. I'm going to be completing this tutorial using Photoshop Creative Cloud. This is the latest version of Photoshop. This is the version of Photoshop I recommend you use if you're doing any kind of um, editing with overlays or inserting your subject into a digital background. But you can also follow along and use these if you have Photoshop Elements or the older standalone versions of Photoshop such as um, CS5 or CS6. But some um, options will be limited in Elements um, because Elements only has a few elements of the full version of Photoshop and the old versions are so old now that some of the new um, amazing features of Photoshop such as subject and background selection they just weren't there back then so they aren't available to you so I really recommend downloading uh, this version of Photoshop Creative Cloud for best results. So let's get started. After downloading from the LSP Actions website you will notice there are two folders, let me just drag this over for you two folders for download. You have the overlay kit for Creative Cloud, that is your monthly subscription based version of the latest version of Photoshop, or you have the overlay kit for PSE, that's Photoshop Elements, CS5 and CS6, these are the old versions of Photoshop. So please make sure you download the correct one because um, if you get error messages you'll know that you haven't downloaded the, the correct version and that's just a bit of a time waster, so make sure you download the correct set. These are compressed zipped folders. So what you need to do, I'm on Photoshop Creative Cloud, so I'm just going to right click on Windows, Extract All. If you're on Mac, you should be able to double click and or use the Archive Utility to extract these files. And once your folder is extracted, it will look a little something like this. So I'm going to go ahead and open it. Inside, you will notice you have the Overlay Applicator Action Pack. Just make this a little larger. And you also have the bonus overlay kit that I'm gifting to you with this so you can just get started right away. Inside here I have created for you um, two digital backgrounds, one that's white, this is um, a beautiful white backlit digital, and a beautiful kind of dark blue rich digital background here. You have a window shadow sampler, a floral overlay, this is vase, you have a glitter overlay sample, this is real glitter shot in camera, uh, that was fun taking my camera <laughs> to be cleaned after that and they were finding glitter in the sensor. You have sky overlay um, example that you can use, texture overlay and a white illustrative floral overlay. So these are some overlays from some of my best selling collections, these are not featured on the website though, these are completely new um, standalone extras that I've included for you. So let's go back into the folder. Here you have the actions. So what you need to do is go ahead and open up Photoshop. You can drag and drop the actions or you can double click. Nothing might happen, but the actions are installed. If you can't see your action panel, come up to window and choose actions. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna drag this in on the side here. Excuse my messy action panel. As you can imagine, I have a lot of actions. The actions will come right at the bottom here they are, the LSP Overlay Applicator Kit. I've downloaded the Photoshop Creative Cloud Edition. If you're in um, Elements or CS5 or CS6, they will look pretty much the same. So at the top here, you have about these actions. You can click and play any of the actions. This will come up with some information about the actions. They'll say here they're for Creative Cloud or they will come up and say they are for Photoshop Elements and the old versions of Photoshop depending on which version you're using. You can use these actions to help you apply and blend overlays to your image in Photoshop. These actions are designed for any overlay, so you, they might be actions um, overlays you've purchased from me at LSP, although do remember anything, any texture packs, shadows, glitters, any of the big major packs you buy from me do come with their own standalone version of the actions with even more features um, inside. They might be, uh, you might be using these for um, textures, florals, overlays, digital backgrounds, anything that you've purchased from Etsy, from other sellers, maybe um, textures, overlays, things like that you've created yourself, 
or maybe anything that you've created using AI on Midjourney, Discord, Beta, any of the AI programs, you can use these, they are compatible. You have information, click here, and this basically tells you a little bit about what a texture is. Texture is a flat JPEG image um, that you use as an overlay to create depth and texture to the background. Glitter, I'm sure you can figure out what that one is. Uh, glitters work best on a dark background. Um, so if you're wanting to add glitter to a light background, white background, it just doesn't show up as it would in real life. Floral overlays are beautiful flower images designed to add the flowers to the background of your image and blend it as an overlay, a bit like a texture. You can use the same um, texture actions for florals too. Sky overlays, shadows and digital backgrounds. Now I will say if you're using newborn digital backgrounds, this kit will help get you started, but you're much better off grabbing the, uh, the newborn digital photographer's digital background editing kit um, over at LSP Actions. This is for use with Photoshop. This will really help you nail your baby compositing once and for all. It contains um, over 70 instant Photoshop paint actions. So this is a lot more in depth, as I'm sure you're aware when it comes to editing newborns into composites. So this really does include everything. I would recommend you grab that. I also include $94 worth of bonuses in this set, including a digital background with five different layers. Um, you get the complete ebook of my secret tips to editing um, digital backgrounds. You get video tutorials, you get everything. So I'd recommend if you're using, um, if you really want to nail your composite game for newborns, to go and grab that. But if not, the uh, the digital adding subject to a digital background here will really get you started either way. You can still use that and get started, but you might find you want a little bit more. You also have um, extra actions in here for all the overlays. You can flip and mirror the overlay, decrease the yellows. You can desaturate, sharpen, blur, intensify, resize, reposition. You can increase the whole image contrast, have a matte effect, a vignette. Each section you have sky, shadow, glitter, and the textures, the florals, and any background overlays. So without further ado, let's get started so I can actually show you how to use these. So first of all, we're gonna get started on the top. We'll do the top and work it down. I'm going to create separate videos for each one of these textures, glitters, skies, shadows, adding subjects to a digital background and using the extras as we go. So you can go ahead and watch all the videos, I'll keep them quite short, or you can um, skip, look at the video tutorials on the LSP Actions website under video tutorials. You can find these tutorials all on the same page over there if you're um, over at YouTube right now and you can watch the textures, florals, glitters, skies, shadows, adding a subject to a digital background and all the extras included um, at your own pace. Oh, now right now I have the actions on grey mode. This is grey mode. This is the only mode you can have on elements if you're working on elements. You click the action and press play. I've added a little triangle play button next to all the actions that work because some of these aren't actions obviously, so you can see there. You hit and click play. If you're on full versions of Photoshop, you can click the little burger menu at the top and hit button mode. If your button mode looks crazy, you just kind of grab your arrow on the edge and snap it into a nice, neat column, like this. And here they are. And you can see the actions are coloured, so anything in red is not for playing. The blue ones are for playing, the purples, uh, the yellows and the greens. So it's much easier you click and play so please do watch the following video tutorials where I show you how to use each section whether you're applying textures, florals, uh, whether you're adding to a dark or a light background, um, how to use the adapt adaptation layers, um, how to add a glitter, a sky, shadow and subjects and these will work for any um, overlays and digital backgrounds that you've purchased from whatever and these are just really going to speed up your work show and your workflow and make sure everything is blended properly to look realistic. So I'll see you over in the following videos. I'm Lauren, thanks for watching.